On Monday, we launched the second chapter of our award-winning Body Stories campaign. Oh, and what a week it's been. At a time when the airbrush is accessible to everyone, we stripped down to our swimwear once again in a bid to show you just how easily photos, photos can be alerted and how everything you see online won't always be real. I have to say, I have to say, girls, it's, it, look, there we are. Wow. Lovely. I actually prefer the first photo. First photo but it, when you think back to four years ago, because you girls weren't with us then, mm. what a shame, when we did the first body mm. stories, I mean, I was awake a couple of nights before. I was in a total state for my entire adult life before that body really? stories. Oh, I was dysmorphic in my thing. I mean, really dysmorphic. Really? I was walked, honestly, Judy. It was just ridiculous. I couldn't get in the swim pool, I couldn't get in the bikini without covering oh my up. God. It was awful. And for the two days before that first shoot, the first body stories, I just, I, I, I was in a real state. Anyway, suffice to say, when I look now at my Instagram feed and what I put up, mm -hmm. I cannot believe how far I've come in four years. I'm a different person because of that Body Stories campaign. And what's brilliant is I know that a lot of our viewers have had a massive change yeah. as well. Because mm. So that's why we get so excited about these campaigns, don't we, Linda? And, and that's why I'm so chuffed we've moved it on now to the whole editing and the new kind of warping. Mm. You can warp, you can have your dysmorphia on, yeah. on screen, can't you? <laughs> and so it's really, it's really just the natural next part of, of the campaign. Linda, I, I can't help but think, we, 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 we had a difficult time in that first we year. We did, yeah. But we also, it, it, was, it was difficult it for was both It was easier us, because it? we were all together. So I remember yeah. me, you and Jane going to the pub beforehand. Yeah. I started a diet an hour before the photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's an hour before. And I just remember us like just sitting in the pub going, oh my God, what are we doing? Then we got to the studio and there's all like young boys there as well, wasn't there? And just being absolutely petrified of actually taking our dressing gown off for the first yeah. time. This time, I think it was harder because we were on our own and then it was all we were all put together. Yeah. Mm. So being in the studio, I just remember thinking, oh no, this is going to be terrible. You know, like because it was hard. It's funny it was you so say harder because I. When I had, sorry, when I had my first, I wasn't in the, the, the actual yeah, campaign. Yeah. When I did my photo shoot, I was on my own. Yeah. And I I, I found that more nerve wracking going in. But luckily I had um, one of the producers and our lovely editor was with me holding my hand and like, you, you know, you've got this. And I'm like, I've got this, I've got this. And then getting up to that and then doing it the second time round, I had my dressing gowns back and then it just backed it off. I was like, yeah! Come on, let's that, do it, let's that, go for but it. that's why these campaigns are so great. I mm. mean, because just personally, for, for a lot of the loose women, we've had those experiences, you and I have definitely shared that, but actually it has for our, for you for you at home as well, mm. for lots of you, because lots of you contacted me. I've mm. had some amazing... I just wanted to read this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this anonymous because it came to my Instagram under the picture I posted. I love this post. At 22 years old, I never post a picture without editing my teeth, the shape of my face, all wow. the lumps and bumps that I don't like. Wait for this. As a teacher, when I hear the 11 year olds in my class talk about how much they want to change themselves, it breaks my heart. Yeah. Thank you, Loose Women, for putting this out there for young girls like me and them. And she isn't that, so she's literally caught up in it, yeah. doing it, unable to post anything, but also hearing the knock on effect mm. of that with the kids. Mm. It's just heartbreaking, isn't it? Yeah. So, Judy, you decided. For this campaign, we desperately wanted you. I know. But you decided for this campaign, it wasn't the right time for you. Yeah, you know, it was literally like a week or so after Dad died, or even though it was yeah. in the making before. And I just, I don't ever like to do anything when I'm really emotional, make a, yeah, dis a long-term decision, because I, I, I'm going through the process. So I didn't know how I would feel maybe in two months seeing my picture out there or so on. However, uh, you guys and, you know, producers and editors were so amazing that you incorporated me in it anyway and went through the process to see yeah. what I'd feel like. And it really... Yeah, because you did a little yeah, shoot, did a little you? shoot yeah. and it was lovely, but it was so um, supporting. And I, what I want people to understand, this is bigger than just, like, oh, take us some pictures and it's a campaign. Like, generally, collectively, as a, as a team, we really talk about how we feel about our body. And me actually doing that little bit of a photo shoot that I didn't add into the whole campaign, yeah. it made me reflect on, like, well, how confident am I? Or, like, how... Not even the word confident, but, like, what you were saying, how much do I accept my body for yeah. how it is, you know? Yeah. And it's really made me draw back and thinking about appreciating all my bits, all my lumps and my bumps, and um, getting ready for the next campaign. Well